Let's begin a special meeting for Monday, July 27, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the, the, the United States United of America. United States of America. To the Republic. To the Republic for which it stands. God. One nation. One nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. Indivisible with liberty and justice for liberty all. Liberty for all. Councilman Sarenti. Present. Councilman Resnetti. Present. Councilwoman Ryden. Present. Councilwoman Friedman. Present. Councilman Strong. Present. President Scanlon. Present. That's all seven here. Okay. Um, we're going to join a 20 day 6 a to see your finance, Councilman Strong. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, introductory ordinance 20-68 is accompanied by a, uh, a seeker, a uh, series of seekers motions. Um, so I'd like to uh, motion those and read those. <clears throat> motion A, motion to declare city council as lead agency under seeker. Second. All favor? Aye. 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 Second motion is to identify the proposed action as unlisted under seeker. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The third motion is to issue a negative declaration under seeker for the following reasons. And I will read this. It'll take, take a minute and uh, so bear with me. <clears throat> Nature of action, an ordinance authorizing issuance of $800,000 serial bonds to finance design of a proposed new fire station and purchase of 253, two, I'm sorry, 235 Court Street, Binghamton, New York for the proposed new fire station. <clears throat> the findings. Court Street is the main commercial street in the city of Binghamton. The property is in a C1 service commercial district, which allows such uses as light, industrial, bus depot, and dormitory. While currently vacant, the most recent use of the property was classified as 433 an auto body. It is located close to access to downtown routes 11 and 7 Brandywine Parkway. The city owns adjacent properties on Pine Street, allowing for improved ingress in egress. The city has also been advised by the New York State Department of Transportation that the property can access Chapman Street, thus minimizing the potential impacts on Court Street and Pine Street. The New York State Historic Preservation Office has determined that the existing structure on the property is not historically significant. While purchase of the property and authorizing a bond for design are important steps in the process, they are preliminary steps in a longer, more detained process. Once an initial design is presented, it will require additional public hearings, site plan review for various impacts, including traffic noise, et cetera, and approval from the City of Binghamton Commission on Architecture and Urban Design. <clears throat> Thus, it is anticipated that the initial seeker determination will be supplemented as the process evolves. Based on the foregoing, it is determined that the issuance of $800,000 in serial bonds to finance design of a proposed new fire station and purchase 235 Court Street, Binghamton, New York for the proposed new fire station will not have a significant impact on the environment. Is second on this? Second. Second. Yes. Councilman Sprinchy. Aye. Aye. Councilwoman Riley. Councilwoman Riley, do you have any vote on the uh, two actions? We're voting on the lead agency portion, correct? The negative declaration. Thank negative you. Negative declaration. Yes. Correct. Aye. Thank you. Me? Yes. Aye. Uh, Councilman Burns? Aye. Aye. President Scanlon? Aye. That's seven nine zero days. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I now ask for Council's unanimous consideration of introductory ordinance 20 68. 
a bond ordinance of the city of Binghamton, New York, adopted July 22, 2020. I'm sorry, July, what's today? July 27, 2020, authorizing the preparation of preliminary plans and specifications in connection with the construction constructing of the new fire station on land to be acquired by the city, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof, $800,000, appropriating set amount for such purpose and authoring the issuance of bonds of the city in the principal amount of not to exceed $800,000 to finance said appropriation. Oh, I need to call the question. Okay. Are there any Can comments we make or questions? Sorry? Wait, questions comments. or comments? There, there's a lot of, oh, wait, sorry. There's a lot of uh, noise. It's hard to hear. I don't know where it's coming from. But it's hard to hear what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of noise. In the somebody's house. Somebody, somebody's got a lot of background noise coming somehow on your microphone. So what a way. All right, so questions or comments on this? Um, yes, this is Councilman Friedman. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I I want to support the fire department. I understand that there is a need to move out of City Hall now because of the structural integrity of the floor. And I would never suggest that they stay there and endanger people who are working in City Hall. However, uh, I I don't think I can enthusiastically vote yes for a couple of reasons. First of all, um, I, I've said this before, but there has been a lack of uh, community input. I know the residents of the proposed location who live near the proposed location of the fire station are very upset about it. And it, it seems, like with with respect to the financial situation of uh caused by covid you know we shouldn't be just bonding out for different projects necessarily that's my my comment thank you councilwoman other questions or comments president Scanlon, this is councilwoman riley Yes. I have to just go ahead and also go on the record that we are in full support. I am in full support of the fire station. And I understand the need to ensure the safety of our firemen and those that are working in the building underneath the current storage place um, for the engine. I am concerned, however, at the need to expedite and move things quickly, particularly when requests are being made. And um, there, there's some information, you know, that we are receiving rights. Well, I received right prior to our meeting last week. Um, again, I, I think it is prudent that we are a part of the process early and we have as much information as possible to make the right decisions during this time. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Other questions or comments? Call the question, Mr. President. Question for call. Councilman Green. Aye. Councilman Brennan. Aye. Councilman Brian. Nay. Councilman Freeman? Nay. Councilman Burns? Aye. Councilman Strong? Aye. Ms. Cameron? Aye. That's five ayes, two nays, Riley and Freeman. Introductory word is 20 to 6 9. Consider finance, Councilman Strong. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Introductory is 20-69 also has, uh, two, uh, this one has two motions under seeker. So I'd like to start with the first one. <clears throat> the first one is a motion to declare city council's lead agency under seeker. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, Lee, go ahead. Let's go on. The second motion is the second motion is to identify the proposed action as type two, and I believe uh, this one has the negative declaration included in it, like the, like the other night. Um, so there won't be will not be a third one, I don't believe on this one. So, <clears throat> motion to identify the proposed action as type two on January twenty seventh, two thousand twenty, the city <clears throat> council authorized and completed a seeker for a variety of capital projects including improvements to tennis courts. Subsequently, it was determined that the cost to improve the tennis courts would be, would exceed the uh, January 27, 2020 bond approval. Thus, the city is amending the January 27, 2020 bond approval to increase the allocation for item J, replace tennis courts to increase the total amount to $1,300,000. A type two determination was made on January 27, 2020. The City of Binghamton City Council has determined that the proposed action described above is a Type 2 action based on 617.5 Type 2 C1 maintenance or repair involving no substantial changes in an existing structure or facility, two, replacement, rehabilitation, or reconstruction of a structure or facility in kind on the same site, including upgrading buildings to meet building or fire codes. Unless such action meets or exceeds any of the thresholds in Section 617.4 of this part, and 21 minor temporary use of land having negligible or no permanent impact on the environment and no further environmental review is necessary. Second. Roll call, please, Lee. Councilman Ferenti. Aye. Councilwoman Redmetti. Aye. Councilwoman Riley. Aye. Councilman Freeman? Aye. Councilman Burns? Aye. Councilman Strong? Aye. Aye. We set we with that part? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. I now ask City Council for unanimous consideration of introductory ordinance 20-69. A bond ordinance of the City of Binghamton, New York, adopted July 27, 2020, amending the bond ordinance adopted January 20, 27, 2020, on account of an increase in the cost of the replacement of tennis courts. What are your comments on this? Needs a second, Mr. President. Oh. Did, did we need a second? Second. Uh, Mr. President, I would yes. like to make a comment. So, um, I, I, you know, I wanted to hold this over last week. Um, it's, it definitely is a, a big decision. It's a lot of money. And I wanted to hear from our community. And I did from a lot of folks. And I, I appreciate that. Um, we had some really good conversations. Um, the truth is that we have been really putting, you know, band-aids on this problem for a very long time. And as we see with other projects, patchwork repairs will only work so long. Um, the surface is buckling and cracking because of extensive storm uh, water and drainage issues that have been um, eroding the tenant. Uh, courts for decades. And, you know, I wanted to just share with you a little bit of what, um, you know, falls under these repairs. Not that I understand all of it fully, but it did came to my attention that, you know, once again, some misinformation is being uh, shared regarding this project by certain people. Um, so these repairs will make, first of all, these repairs will make the tennis accessible um, from an ADA standpoint, which is really important. Individuals in, in wheelchairs can will be able to play uh, modified tennis. Um, adding seating for USTA tournaments, youth tennis, community events, uh, fixing curb and fencing issues that prevent court from drying off when it rains. Uh, the new courts, my understanding is, will be pitched to let the water run off. Excavation of poor subsurface materials that prevent proper drainage and so forth. Um, and I would also now like to correct some of the false information regarding shared um, that's being shared regarding who is using the tennis courts. Um, 
So USTA has committed to the 21 uh, tournament, and, and I know that that's just two weeks, but it's really a, a big thing for our community. It does have a big impact. Um, St. Catholic Central uh, Boys Girls uh, Tennis, St. Catholic Central uh, Physical Education uh, Instruction, Binghamton High School Boys and Girls uh, Tennis, youth tennis programs through the Binghamton Parks Department. Um, and not to mention recreation tennis uh, for West Side residents and really residents across the city who um, are out there playing constantly. Um, I, you know, something that I'm always very mindful of is that not everyone can afford to play tennis or afford to go on vacation during the summer. This is a free of a uh, cost to community members. And so we need to take care and invest in our public parks. Um, and th that's all I have. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilman. Other questions or comments? Council President, this is Councilwoman Riley. Um, I, I want to thank Councilman, Councilwoman Resonetti for that information, but I did not receive the updated report that I requested a couple of meetings ago. Do you have, did you receive said report, your, your uh, code about the update? Councilwoman, uh, Councilwoman Riley, we're having trouble hearing you. Can you maybe back away from the microphone or adjust that somehow? We're having a hard time hearing what you're saying. Okay, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? It sounds a lot better. Thank you. Okay, um, I was just saying that I did not actually receive the updated report that really specified the uh, increase in the request. However, I have been receiving emails all day as we of you as the council. And what is the primary concern of the community? It is the budgetary um, management in a time when we are not readily able to foresee what is going to happen. We know our sales taxes have been impacted by COVID. We know a lot of activities have also been impacted by COVID and we just need to be fiscally responsible. We heard this on Wednesday and as I mentioned, we heard many of us in our email inboxes throughout the week about this uh, spending for the, the tennis court. I totally support uh, activities in our park. My daughter loves the tennis courts, um, but right now it's not the time for maxing out our um, bond. So thank you. Other questions? Other questions? Councilman Burks. Yeah, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I got uh, emails about about this, and we were spending too much money on the tennis court. And uh, and uh, my my colleague, Councilman, both both Councilwomen, I, I hear what they're both saying. Uh, and, uh, but my feeling is. You know, I grew up, I represent the South Side, but I grew up on the West Side, and uh, uh, those tennis courts are a jewel, jewel for, for our community. And I used to watch the high school, I used to go to every high school match, I played tennis, I didn't play, but and, and, uh, I understand that the, the new, they're going to put this new seating, it'll be natural seating on the, on the sides for, for for all the parents and friends who want to come to watch the high school play, it's going to make it better for my school. And also, I think that, you know, one of the letters talked about the fact that, you know, we spent a lot of money on the baseball team and now the baseball team's not coming back. And so we don't know for sure if the tennis is coming, but the tennis tournament is coming back. Why are we spending this money for the tennis tournament? I don't think this is about the tennis tournament, even though we are getting it ready for the tennis tournament. But I think the tennis tournament in this time of COVID, keeping reasons to stay in Binghamton and to move to Binghamton. We, I mean, this is something, uh, you know, my family's in real estate. So this is something that a real estate salesperson would say, oh, we have a professional tennis tournament at Recreation Park. Let me drive you past it to look at it. I think it is a jewel for our city. 
and I under, but I understand about the budget and everything, but I think this helps Binghamton. It helps the, it, it, it help the, the houses around it. I believe it will, it, it helps the value of everybody's homes and everything else. So uh, that's why I'm voting yes. Thank you. Other questions there? Other comments or discussion, please? Yes, this is Councilwoman Friedman. Yes. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I wanted to first say thank you, Councilwoman Resinetti, for doing all of that research and bringing that that information to the meeting. And I think that's really valuable, um, you know, to consider that the tennis courts are not just being used for the tournament; they're being used for for a lot of different things. Um, and I think that that's it's super important and I, and I know that the um the patchwork solutions don't work like resurfacing the tennis courts without addressing the underlying drainage issue in the long run is more expensive um however i just i don't feel like right now is the time when we can be spending that extra money to to address that issue do i think that we should do that down the line? Absolutely, I do. Um, but given the fact that there, the financial situation of the city is a little bit tumultuous, I just don't feel comfortable authorizing that extra $700,000 at this time. However, I recognize that it's absolutely something that should be done um, further down the line in the future. Thank you. Other comments or dis other discussions? Call the question. Question for call. Thanks. More call, please, please. Uh, Councilman Threnny, how are you going on? You see him, please? I'm having difficulty hearing. What happened? Uh, Lee, Lee, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. I'm sorry, I made mute earlier. Can you? Um, oh, okay. I I don't know if there was a an audio issue there. I was I was trying to say something, but it didn't seem like it was going through. But uh, then I heard, I thought I heard somebody call the question. I wasn't sure if you started roll call or not. I apologize. Yes. We have had a comment. Or do you want to move on to vote? If the question's already been called, I'll, I'll respect that. I was, uh, someone had actually stated already what I was going to say. So thank you. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Aye. Yes. Okay. Councilwoman Ryan. Nay. Councilwoman Friedman. Nay. Councilman Burns. Aye. Councilman Strong. Aye. President Scanlon. Aye. That's five eyes, two nays, Riley and Friedman. See, that's all on the agenda tonight. I'll take a motion to adjourn. So move. Have a good night, everyone. Night.